So the EFL Championship returns this weekend with some teams playing in their home kits. Some teams, on the other hand, will play in their away kits. But who has the best? We're going to rank them from hit to shit. And we're going to take a little look next. <laughs> in another tier list video today we're taking a look at the away kits i'm going to rank all of them from hit to shit and we'll get to that in just a second of course if you're new where you've been smash your subscribe button back into all things rovers related championship related world football related we're going to all hit it boys under one roof ski of course we have 23 out of the 24 championship clubs their away kits are have been uh, exposed to the public and we're going to take a little look at them in just a second of course big shout out to my vips you know who you are they are the patrons, of course. But anyway, let's get cracking. All right, then, folks, let's jump in the deep end and, of course, have a little look at the away kits, of course. Uh, 23 out of the 24 clubs are in. Uh, let me know which kit we are missing down below. They are going to come at you in a bit of a random order. So let's start with this weird picture. It is, of course, Middles Bad Air Rats, right? Of course, the home kit, not great. Their away kit uh, is better, I think. But again, this picture is not really given a true representative or representation of the uh, of the shirt. So it's hard to fully gauge which one it is, uh, if it's a shit or a hit one. I'm going to go with a D on this one. I just, no, I, I may, yeah, I'm, I don't know. It's a D and a C. It's, between, it's like a C minus, D plus C minus. Can we do that? Are we allowed to do that, producer? Are we allowed? No, we're not. Uh, we're going to slide you in the Ds. That's right. Uh, next up, of course, we have uh birmingham city uh, they've had a cracking home kit their away kit uh pretty savvy as well i do like the logo not too sure what that sponsor is but uh it looks crisp on that shirt but uh the longer i look at it i'm not i'm not, I'm not feeling as, as much as a, a good vibe as i am for the home kit i think it is a c grade kit so we'll slide that sucker in there as well so not bad in the Cardiff City coming at you next, coming to you from Wales uh, with this pink behemoth right here, right now. The badge is also pink. Now visit Malaysia, New Balance, the, the sponsor. Uh, it looks a little bit, the, you know, the Visit Malaysia logo looks a bit bland. Look, looks a little bit aerial bold or aerial whatever it is. Uh, it's a very basic kind of shirt with, we had so much promise as well. Um, I'm going to put you alongside Burrow. I think that's a D. I don't think that's, I can't get excited about that shirt whatsoever. Uh, next up, of course, we have a, a bit of a controversial one, perhaps, because it's, I think it's not officially out there, but it's a, it's, a, it's a shit picture as well. It's Coventry's. You can see what they're going on here. Um, I think it's Castori, maybe, is the brand manufacturer. I'm not too sure, but I don't know. I can't, the picture is terrible. Very, very woeful. Colors, you can't really get good colors out of it. And because of all this, and all this sort of fact is bearing in mind, I'm going to put it into the C because I can't really fully gauge that kit. So it's it could be great, it could be bad. It's a little bit indifferent. Next up, we have Hull City. And this is a surprise because I feel the colours are very, very much home-based colours. Um, you know, what, what, you know, why couldn't they go an all-black with uh, maybe make the sponsor orange? Uh, I think that would have been a much better, um, you know, much more stand out of, of, of an away sort of representation well this one just feels like a second home kit to be honest with you with the um the amount of amber going on in here but it's not that bad is it i think it's a pretty good steady shirt i think it's a much better than the actual home kit uh so i'm gonna put you up there in the bees so well done i think that's a pretty good kit we have a lot a lot of bad pictures of these away kits um including this one this is leeds uh, with VOXT uh, uh, sponsor, Andy Das, the maker. Again, some, I don't know what, what, what background that is. Again, not very, not the greatest picture to, to really get a good, good scope of what this looks like. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to, I'm going to put you in the, I'm going to put you in the Ds. I can't, I can't get excited about it. I'm sorry. So one kit we all got excited about in the home video was the Plymouth Argyle home kit, but this is their away kit. Now, for the most part, it's, it's not a bad kit. There's a couple of flaws in here, which I, I can stand out because the home kit was was probably one of the best kits I've ever seen um, ever. And I'm talking ever. You know, if I did a tier list of best kits ever, Plymouth Argyle would be in it. Uh, but this one, again, it got the lovely Bond Timber in there. The white is good. I like the green. And, and, and But I don't like how the collar doesn't go all the way around to the top. If we're going to be if we're going to be meticulous here, these little details are going to stop 
or at least separate the the, the good from the bad. Uh, and again, I don't like how this the, the 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 green the green bar fades out. So you know, I'm gonna be picky. I still think it's a good shirt. It's not an A grade though. I think their their B their home kit is a B. Uh, another minute. That's that's the best we've got. But uh, I think that's about to change. And that's of course with Sheffield Wednesdays. Lovely looking uh, away kit here. I, I I'm liking this. The, again, the, the picture's a little bit like like somebody needs to iron that shirt or at least steam it. Some crinkles in there, but this is a good safe shirt. It's good. It's good white, solid white. Love the cuffs. Love the collar. Love the buttons. Love the eel sponsor. I think that's good. Love the black on the badge. This is an A grade shirt in my eyes. I think it's a quality, uh, a clean shirt. Just don't eat spaghetti with it. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, next up, we have uh, Sunderland's uh, very, very bold pink shirt. Bradley Dak will be wearing this, I would imagine. Um, but to be honest with you, I think it looks like dog shit. And I think that's our first F grade of our championship video. That's right. Shocker Rooney. Uh, but coming right back out, shall we have Watford's Mr. Q. Um, and again, this is good. I love this. I love the look of this for the most part, except for the arms. The arms make it look a little bit crappy. Uh, just get rid of those black, whatever color they are, cuff things. Uh, just make it all white for the most part. White. And just have a little, little dabble of maroon or whatever that color is um it's an a it's an a it's like a borderline a b but it's it's going into the a because we're a little light on numbers and there way we go next up we have rovers but rovers my team of course all black shirt uh i've got to actually purchase this one uh again the home kit got a lot of bad bad vibes um this all black kit for rovers is something we've been screaming out for it's not 100 percent all black it's a little bit of a slight uh, variation of black in there as well so it, 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 there's a gradient if, if, if that's the right word um but it's a good shirt it's a good strong shirt and um am i am i gonna do it oh yes of course i'm gonna do it. i'm gonna stick that sucker into the a's i think it's a it's an a grade shirt quality i like it and uh, it will be getting my money uh next up we go of course norwich city uh did i say norwich city i what i meant to say was bristol city Fooled me. You fooled me, Hubu. Uh, and this one, again, that's a unique looking badge. Different kind of badge. I don't know what the Bristol City fans think about that badge. Um, but it's 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 clean. O'Neill's, Hubu, love the sponsor, love everything about it. This is an A-grade shirt, no question. Even though I did call it Norwich, it is Bristol City, and it is pretty clean. Next up, we have another yellow shirt. I believe this is Huddersfield Town. This one is what you would wear when you win the Tour de France. That's right. It is a yellow of a yellowness, like a neon yellow. And again, don't like the little, just the little, little attention to details. This little black things here look shit. Why? What's the point of it? Just stick with one color. Uh, I'm a simple kind of guy. And I think those little, little, little things, they're both the same way as well. Maybe flip one around. Are they the same way? No, they're not the same way. They're not. The same. But regardless, it cheapens the shirt. I'm going to put you in the, in the C department. Um, they're very bright, though. You will not get lost in the park wearing that badger. Uh, next, we have uh, Ed Sheeran FC, a.k.a. Ipswich Town, uh, with the uh, orange shirt. Um, I like, again, the sponsor's good. Looks cool. Um, badge looks as pretty good in orange. But the fabric or the pattern of the main print here is is pretty shitty. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in the Ds, I think. I, 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 very, very... Marmite kind of shirt. Next up, we have Leicester with a sash. You know how I feel about sashes. They are sashes are trash. That's what it is. Sashes are trashes. And this is the central fucking badge as well. Who do you think you are? It's like you won the Premier League or something. Oh, wait, you did win the Premier League. Uh, but really, the sash, <laughs> the central the central badge, everything that can go wrong with a shirt is here. So alongside Sunderland, you're shite. Uh, this is, I believe, Norwich. We're finally there. Um, have a little look at it. All green for the most part. Up here looks like dog shit. Uh, I don't know what they're doing with the collar here. They don't know what they're doing with the collar here. Um, yeah, it's bad. It's grim. It's grim times. And I think you also are joining them. I, I'm, 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 on, I'm, in, I'm, on, I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood for just dropping people into the Fs. Uh, Preston, begrudgingly, had a really good home kit. And I think they have a really good away kit as well. Everything seems tight, nice and tight for Preston. Uh, I don't really like the blue bit at the top here, um, you know, but Story, if 
hard groups all tight like neat and tidy gonna put you in the a's i think on this one i think that's a nice good balance of a lot going on next up qpr again had a good home kit and i think their away kit's up there the away kit is up there another serious contender gareth it's a shame it's a shame because gareth ainsworth might not have the best of years for qpr and he might get them relegated with one of the best looking shirts going on so i uh, love the kit i can't really i'm not gonna i'm not gonna harp on about it but it's up there and it's just a serious it's a serious kit uh next up we have another blackish kind of shirt and it is rotherham um yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a c it's a c um i think it's better than i think it's better than the home kit but it's a little bit a little bit muchness what are we going on here we have of course that's Southampton's now Southampton's home kit uh was had had a, had a had some controversy or at least talking points on, online this away kit is a safe it's a safe away kit uh, of course teal lime kind of green undertones here uh within the badge but a white kit pretty safe uh, and safe means b uh, it's a b kit you can't you're not pushing the envelope too much however these guys Stoke have pushed the envelope a little bit with this bet 36 wow child now wow childs um it is wild and i want to i want to get it up there i just can't get it up in the a's it's going to be a b shirt for me just a little bit it is wild but it's just a little bit it's like snake skin kind of thing on it going on but just not it just doesn't it's a bit too crazy um into the home stretch i think we've got a couple left and this is swansea now i did have i, I had some good 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 uh, replies to my swan my dedicated swansea video uh, and this is pretty good, actually. Yeah, I, I was at first. I thought, nah, this ain't, this ain't that good. But this is pretty good. Uh, all it, all like, of course, gold trim all over the place within the, the manufacturer, the badge, West Acres, of course, with the north, south, east, west compass on the middle. Uh, it's a posh, it's a posh looking shirt. It's a good one, and I am, yeah, gonna go with my newfound fame over in Swansea. I'm gonna put you over there in the A grade, and then we're gonna wrap it up with a shirt that we'll probably see. On Saturday, it is West Bromwich Abbey up against Rovers with this Matrix style shirt. That's what we're going to call it. Um, they've gone for it. They have gone for it. Again, the collar just cuts off. Why don't you just go all the way around? Yeah, I think it'll look much better. But just because of this, no, I'm going to put you in the bees. Now, here we go. Here's the difficult one because I think we do have some really stellar shirts here. Uh, the Watford one, unfortunately, is not a winner. I am putting you out of it. Uh, the Rovers one, as much as I liked you uh, a lot, I think you also are not a winner. I will be buying you, though. The Bristol City one, I like you. I like you a lot. Uh, I'm going to push you up there a little bit. I'm also going to put the QPR one up there a little bit. I'm also going to push the Swansea one up there a little bit. Preston, you're good, but you're not great. So let's have a look at this, uh, the Bristol City one one more time. Why do I like this one? Well, I like this because it's clean. Uh, the weird looking badge for Bristol Rovers. They've, they've actually dabbled mixing their badge up over the past few years. They, they went from the traditional one to the new kind of circular one. And now they've thrown this badger out there. And it is a different badge. And it adds a little bit of, a little bit of different, different quality to it. And I think this is a very clean shirt. But I'm going to go with my gut. A team that might struggle. It is. Sheffield Wednesday. I think they've smashed it. I think that EOP thing, I don't know what it is. I don't know if, it's, if it's a vaping company or a, or a murder company or something dodgy, I don't even know. But it's it's typical Yorkshire, typical Sheffield. I think it just, just rings true for this kit. Uh, and, 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 the, and they played safe with black and white. I think this is, a, this is a banging kit. I love it. I love it. I love the home kit as well. So they've done, they've done bits. Uh, let me know your thoughts and opinions about our kit predictions. Of course, looking forward to the championship returning this week. Don't forget, we have a championship podcast coming out already. It's already already out called the EFL's Finest, where we take a deep dive into the week's action. We already did match number one. That's out. Check that out. Check out, of course, my match number one predictions for the championship. We do that regular. And, of course, don't forget the home kits, the away kits. A lot of content here. And, of course, extensive uh, deep dive into Blackman Rovers as well as we look forward to... Um, uh, to the start of the campaign. We've got a lot of videos coming at you. We've got a preview. We might even have a combined 11. We may even get a chance to speak to an away fan. We'll see. But a lot of uh, after after effects on that. we got a lot of vlogs. we got a, a fan cam. we got my own instant reactions. All that kind of stuff. 
But that's all, of course, to come. But until then, subscribe, thumbs up, hit the little bell, non-stop shop right here, all the way through to the bitter end. Until then, subscribe, thumbs up, of course, catch you later in the next one.